Hello everyone, I'm Professor Jay Kim teaching graphic design in Plymouth State University in New Hampshire. So today I'm going to show you how to embed YouTube videos in your web page using Bootstrap feature in Adobe Dreamweaver. So by using this the Bootstrap feature, your page is going to be fully responsive. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button. That's going to be a big help for me and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so um, uh, before we start, we will need to create a new root folder for this page. So I created a new root folder, and on the root folder, I have the other one images folder with two images inside. One is my banner, which is this, banner.jpg, and my logo.png. It's a transparent pink file. So if you do not have the, your banner image and the, your logos, uh, you may use mine. So you may uh, download the images from the link I provided in my description. So um, we have a root folder with images folder inside. Okay, now go to Dreamweaver. So first thing is uh, we need to do a site definition. So go to site, new site, site name, since we're going to embed the YouTube videos, I'm going to name it as a YouTube. So I can tell this is about that page. My local site folder is. So this is my root folder uh, I created with the other two images uh, images inside, images folder. Okay, so my root. So that's my root folder. Now go to advanced settings. Uh, I'm going to leave everything uh, just as it is, but um, default images folder. Browse, click on the Browse button, and the Images folder, and choose it, and save it. Okay, so let me check my Dreamweaver. So I'll check your Files tab. My site name is YouTube, and then under my root folder, I have Images folder with two images. So I'm ready to go. Now, create new. Where document to type is HTML, framework, we're going to use a bootstrap for responsive website and create new, check the first one and then please uncheck include a pre-built layout because we're going to start from the um, uh, scratch, scratch. So create it. Okay, now we are ready to go. So first the thing is, uh, under my body tab, in, please make sure that your DOM panel is open. We're going to have the other uh, container fluid. So, because it's going to be a responsive website. So, go to Insert tab, choose the, your uh, Bootstrap components, and the first one is the comp uh, Container Fluid. Click on it. So, we have that. So, click your mouse cursor inside. Then, inside the Container Fluid, we're going to insert a new container. So, this container goes inside. So, Nest. Okay, now click your mouse cursor inside the container. Now we're going to have a nav bar. Scroll down in your bootstrap component. Choose the nav bar and the basic nav bar. Choose it. This nav bar is supposed to be in my container. So a nest. So we have this. So uh, it's good, but uh, I do not want to have the, all the search panel things. So in your DOM panel, select your nav bar, drop down menu, the bottom one, there are more options. I'm going to select the very last one, the form, delete it. Under, there are the more items. First thing is a disabled, I'm going to delete that drop down menu, I don't want it. Uh, I want to have the, a few more. So let me select the other nav item, the very last one. Hold down the control key or right click, duplicate it, duplicate it, and one more time, duplicate it. So um, I have five buttons. First one, I'm going to just name it uh, as a logo. My second button, animation. My third one, Photoshop. Last, now next one, Illustrator, 
and the next one is HTML. Okay, you may have a different buttons. It really um, uh, it's up to you. And I also I want to replace my navbar, this placeholder text, uh, with my logo. So uh, in your coding area, let me delete this navbar. Now we're going to insert my logo. Go to Insert tab, choose the HTML. My uh, second button, image. We're going to insert the image, which is my logo.png, which is huge. So click on this three bar drop down menu uh, button. And then I'm going to change it the other width. Make sure your constraint chain is linked. I'm going to make it way smaller, 100 pixels. Okay, so it looks good. All right, so we have nav bar. I'm going to make it simpler. Under container, we have nav bar. After nav bar, I want to insert uh, my banner image. So that banner image goes after. So in your insert tab, still in HTML, choose the image. It will ask you where to go. It will go after my nav bar, banner, and open it. But this image is not responsive yet. So once you have you once you browse the, your banner image, go to this DMR three bar drop down menu, and check make image responsive box on the bottom. Okay, so it looks good. Let me save it first. Save as index.html in my root folder. Save it. Okay. So let me check, double click my index.html. So uh, it looks okay. Uh, as I reduced uh, my window size for mobile version, it's getting smaller. And now we have a drop down menu. For the desktop version, no drop down menu, but we have the actual buttons. So it is fully responsive now. Okay, looks good. Next. Back to Dreamweaver. After my image, I want to have the title uh, of my the YouTube videos. So I'm going to import embed uh, three YouTube videos about the logo design tutorials. So select that. Uh, first thing is, uh, I want to have a title. So in HTML, uh, insert menu, choose the heading number one. It goes after. I'm going to just uh, retype it. Logo design tutorials. Tutorials. Okay. Logo tutorials. All right. So after that, after the title, now I want to have the, uh, the list of my um, um, the YouTube videos. Uh, I want to have the three little things, so three columns. So after that, uh, go back to your Insert tab, choose Bootstrap Components. Okay. Then, first thing is, I'm going to insert Grid Row with Column. Click on it. It will ask you where it will go after my Logo Design Tutorial headings and the numbers of columns, I want to have three. Say OK. Scroll down. So we have the three columns of row. So first thing is, let me highlight content goes here. So once you click there in your coding area, you will see this content goes here. So delete that. Instead of that, in your insert tab, Bootstrap component, we're going to insert responsive video embed. Choose that. Okay, so you will see the code. Now, go to your YouTube. Open the other first YouTube video you want to embed. I want, I'm going to embed this one first. So first thing is, uh, once you open it, on the bottom of your video, go click on the share button. Share. You will see the embed button. Embed. And then I displays the other code. I'm going to copy the code. Close it, back to Dreamweaver, and then just to highlight the second line, iframe text here. 
then paste it. So I'm kind of replacing it. All right. So first one, you have to uh, embed video is done. Second one, content goes here. Same process. Delete it. In your uh, Bootstrap component insert tab, choose responsive video embed. Click on it. Now, go to YouTube. Select open there your second video you want to embed. I want to uh, embed this one. Same thing. Click on share. Embed. Copy the code. Close it. Back to Dreamweaver. Highlight the second line iframe tags. And paste it. Okay, we have one more to go. Content goes here. Highlight it. Delete it. And then in your insert tab, bootstrap component, choose responsive video embed. Same thing. Now back to web browser. Open your the third YouTube video you want to embed. And then click on the share. Embed button. Copy the code. Close it. Back to Dreamweaver. Now highlight iframe text and paste it. Okay. Let me save it. And let me refresh. See? So I have a nail bar on top. I have my banner image, title of these three video tutorials, and on each one, you can play it. You can play from here. You can play from here. Even you can jump to, you can open this file from YouTube. Okay, so it is working. And also, since we uh, made this using the bootstrap feature in Dreamweaver, this is page is the other fully responsive. So as you reduce your window size of your web browser, see, now we see that kind of a hamburger button here, drop down menu. Still, your each video, YouTube video is embedded. Uh, it is working. Still, you can view it from here too. Okay, so these are working fine. Yep. All right. Desktop version, mobile version. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and then um, uh, this video is uh, helpful for your project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.